right. Have y'all ever dreamed of being a superhero? I did when I was a young girl, never thinking I could grow up and be more than amazing by simply serving the people in my community, knowing that I can make an impact by serving someone's day. Everyone needs a group they can confide in, someone who would not judge them, and someone who they can trust. I have that with Zeta Mika organization that I'm a member of, who I work with to serve the community. My name is Bessie Hall. I am a UALR speech communication student. Um, I served four hours of service at the Arkansas State Leadership Conference with Zeta Pi Incorporated. Today, I will be telling you about my service learning experience. First, I will talk about my service learning experience. Second, I will connect some communication concepts and principles to my service learning. Finally, I will talk about a concept that will help to improve as well as an ethical implication. Moving right along, I completed my service learning at the Arkansas State Leadership for Beta Phi Beta. Don't you think we need to stay involved in our community? The mission of the organization, according to ZPB 1920OIZ.org, Zeta Amiga, and Z5B 1920.org forward slash national programs, Z Hope. It emphasized a few key ideas. Um, Amica lends assistance to Zeta activities to promote good public relations between Zeta and community women. We offer invaluable services to the sorority and their respective community. Amika helped the Zetas with the ZHO program by helping others excel through mind, body, and spirit. We serve to empower people from all walks of life. Oh, uh oh. Does anybody know what's happening? Oh no, you, you can scroll. It's not a PowerPoint, you can scroll. I was surrounded by Zetas throughout the state of Arkansas and Amikas throughout the state of Arkansas. And we also were surrounded by vendors um, who was who had Zeta Phi Beta and Amika paraphernalia and also the hotel staff. We collected the items um, at Walmart and the Dollar Tree. Um, and at that point we organized the items and actually We organize the items and help organize. And how this supports the vision is because um, it's lending a hand to um, Zetas by providing these items to unwed single mothers. It shows how we help the women in the community. The dedication and commitment we put into our service when a valuable service to the sorority and respect the community. And we make sure that our items we gather are delivered. This makes an impact on people we serve from all walks of life. Making a difference encourages and empowers the people, this helped them to excel and change their mind, bodies, and spirit. Moving on, raise your hand if you have ever made a difference, um, enjoyed making a difference. My first communication concept is goal. The definition according to Lane Abigail and Gooch, 2014 is an outcome a person or group want to achieve. An example for my service that illustrates this concept is when the items are counted per box, um, the goal could be 20 per box. Two of the ladies might hold up two 10 fingers each to the vice president to let her know the amount that we have. She'll either give a thumbs up um, to let us know that we have met our goal. An example illustrates the definition because we have achieved the desired outcome of items collected as a group. The second communication concept is rewards. The definition according to Lane, Abigail English, 2014, is features of a relationship that is considered positive. An example from our service that illustrates this concept is effective amongst the group and community, face-to-face -face interactions that we have, um, telephone conversations, memos that are being put out on social media, an example that illustrates this definition because we are building rapport with the community and um, we make a positive impact on the mothers that we serve. 
The relative communication principle is communication behaviors are learnable. The definition according to the Survival Guide 2017 is through the process of communication is consistent and unavoidable. The behaviors used in this process are thus we learn how to communicate ways that will positively impact the situation. A student who gives an effective speech and a student who gives a great one are both communicating, but each has learned different communicative behaviors that makes a meaningful difference to the audience. An example from my service that illustrates this principle is to let everyone in my group know I had a memo about the diapers and I would get there but no one responded. The illustration of this is passive aggressive behavior because they ignore me. Like they were leaving me out. Moving on. <laughs> Being able to improve makes us grow in every area of our lives. Don't you agree? Yeah. Yes. Communication <laughs> concepts I can use to improve my communication will be tactics. The definition according to Lane Abigail Goose 2014 is a system of standards that defines what behaviors are right or good and that allows us to evaluate and decide amongst behavior options in terms of civil communication ethics that allow us good choices about what and how we communicate. I chose this concept based on my service learning experience because I want to be able to serve the women in the community and be responsible by watching what I say. Sometimes I don't, um, things just don't come out the right way. Um, I need to think about what I say and what kind of consequences that can come from it. Um, not really realizing my actions. I say I have the potential to affect others if I don't. I will show more care and concern, um, civil and ethical implication I could use to improve my community would be caring with grace. According to the Survival Guide 2017, it's an understanding and meeting the needs of the people we interact with. I chose this implication based on my service experience because some of the people I serve in the community I may not particularly care for because they have previously treated me wrong, but I must show forgiveness and I can use this implication to improve my community by staying positive when dealing with people since a caring and graceful attitude towards others. In conclusion, um, today I have told you about my service learning experience. <laughs> okay, if for, uh, I have, well first, I have talked about my service learning experience. Second, I have connected some communication concepts and principles to my service learning. And finally, I talked about a concept that would help me to improve as well as an ethical implication. Now, you know how it feels to be a heroic serving that community. It gives you power over to be a hero. Sorry my slideshow didn't work. Nope. <laughs>